I've been, it's, I mean, I've seen some soldiers, I've been up into the areas where there has been a lot of trouble, but um, when I'm there, it's all very quiet. <laughs> Perhaps I exude peace and quiet. You know, I've never, I go everywhere in Belfast and I've never seen the stone thrown yet, believe it or not. It's the working class people who are really involved in all this confrontation. <laughs> These boys who are involved in a lot of these troubles are involved solely and simply because there's nothing else to do. They're possibly unemployed, they're running around all day with simply nothing to do. At nights, the mothers won't let the teenagers go to the discotheques, dance halls, etc. because they're afraid of someone throwing a bomb into that particular building. That's hopeless a whole lot, I think. Like the whole towns and an uproar, sure, you're afraid, people's afraid to walk around the town in case you can play up and you don't know where to walk. You're walking, there's explosions at night, nobody knows where they were. You could be driving down anywhere and get played a bit. How do you feel on a Sunday morning with all this trouble happening in Belfast? How do we feel? We feel very much oppressed. My legs are shaking on them because it was, it was my daughter's shop got it. Last night, so last we're night. not feeling too bright this we're morning. We're not doing very good. Tell me what happened last night. Well, we don't know. There was an explosion outside our door and our shop was wrecked. It's a small business. There are green grocers, you know, and there's not much money in this business. I mean, just at the moment, trade business is so bad, you see, too. Business is very bad, you know. Has this happened to you before? Well, slightly, about a fortnight ago, just there. There's another crater up there. See the other crater there? The garden there? Yes. Is this your wife? This is the missus, yes. How did, what happened and how do you feel about it? I'm not too bad now, a bit of a shock last night though. It was indeed, it was terrible last night. You know, we just hadn't it ever as bad as that. Most of these bombs arrive in boxes and parcels. Another pub that I have, 11.30 one night, I found a brown paper parcel under a seat and a walked around it for quite a long time and it looked a light parcel it looked the way it was wrapped it looked as if it couldn't be heavy and finally I opened it and there were two cream cakes in it but that was some months ago and I think now I don't think I would have opened it what would one say one's given a lifetime to build up a stock and business and it's gone two minutes Thank God nobody was killed. That was the main thing. That's all, all, all I can say. Words can't express how I feel. I'm thankful to, that I wasn't in the shop at the time and that all my staff have not been hurt, you know. I think money's in, unimportant when you see lifetimes work, uh, you know, gone in two seconds. I used to get into town a lot, but I wouldn't go in hardly now. You know, you're afraid of the big buildings and shops, Woolworths and things like that, little ways and them places, you know. But I think we've got to the stage now that, uh, well, any matter as well, life has to go on, hasn't it? Well, I don't mind at all because as far as I'm concerned, if they're going to blow you up, they're just going to blow you up. And if, if you stopped your life because of it, you know, you just couldn't live. It's, it's not fair on anyone to stop their life because they're going around blowing up buildings. Terrified. But you always feel that there's going to, that bomb's going to go off on you.